Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl that day. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Please do consider subscribing before you leave. If you're a student subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I really do appreciate every single time you guys come back to my channel, every single view. You know what I'm saying? So, in my previous video, I think my either my last video or the last two videos, I'm going to take link it up on the screen. Um, I did mention me incorporating my faith into my channel if you don't know i'm a christian so as a first video i feel like it is only right to do like you know when you start a youtube channel you do like oh um the get to know me tag all this kind of things instead of, like so i feel like it is proper to like introduce my faith to you guys not just like hit you guys with like one <clears throat> with one deep topic like that is burning in my soul to speak about you know so i'm going to be answering some questions that i found online on that when i searched for the christian tag i also seen some other youtubers do it you know so that's what we're going to be doing today don't forget to like comment subscribe turn on your post notifications and share this video with your family and friends and let's get started oh sorry the first question is how long have you been saved and when did you become saved um so um generally i've always been a christian if you put it like i grew up in a christian home both my parents are um, top members of the church, not top members, but like they do hold positions in church, you know. So it's like we've always gone to church since I was born so that I can always remember going to church. I always go to church. Um, how long have I been saved? Like personally, I think um, probably around GS2 or GS1. Um, you know, obviously prior to them when they make the call, we all know how it goes. They make the call and every child runs out, you know, and you pray and then you go home and steal these kids and then you come back to church, they do the call again, you run out of, like yeah. So I feel like the very first time that um I actually personally like all those times are obviously personal, but like where it like was like this is a conscious decision like you know um obviously they say from like seven you are you should know the, the difference between wrong and right yeah so like, i feel like from secondary school you should know deep down you understand so i feel like it's around just one or two if you hear chain sounds at the background my dogs so yeah so yeah i think around just one or two like probably doing one of those um chapels that they do in school um was probably the, the very first time obviously there were consequent times when you would like relapse and then you come back but like the very first time should be around just one or two the right. next question is what's your favorite bible verse and why um if you are on my social media you should see that i have jmr 29 11 in my bio it's just like a constant reminder i like to keep it everywhere because it's like a constant reminder that yes i'm going through tough times i'm struggling right but it's like, God has already promised me that um, the thoughts he has towards me, the plans he has for me are all good plans, okay? So despite the fact that I'm going through something tough right now, that's like not where I'm going to end up. Like, I'm ob I obviously have something good waiting for me, you know, um, just that concept reminder that, yes, I am loved, I've been taught of, like before I was even born, y'all, God already had a plan for me, he already had plans for me to succeed. To make it in life to be happy to have a long life like enjoy and happiness like that's amazing that's like that's just something that i i really i need to constantly remember because life's tough life is definitely really really tough and you know that causes remember that yeah um this is not the end this is not my this is not my finish line i still have a lot of like a long way to go before i have my finish line that's an amazing reminder my um, favorite christian song and what it means to me oh my goodness okay i have a couple i have a couple um in general i love maverick city um during the quarantine maverick city helped me to not go insane I, I, I'm not even kidding, like, I could have run fucking mad, I'm sorry for swearing, but like, that's just facts, like, my recent kept me from going insane, um, the story I'll tell, I did a cover of it, if you've not watched it, it's going to pop on the screen somewhere, um, that particular song, I said, that particular time when I posted it, was my, that was my, like, my anchor yeah i know jesus was my anchor but like that's my anchor to my anchor you can understand what i'm trying to say um i used to play that song every single morning because i was losing myself um 
yeah so that song and then there's Idima by DK I used to play that song too every single morning I'm pretty sure everybody in my house knows the lyrics to that song from beginning to end because I would play it on the loudest yeah so that's basically it Maverick City and that song in particular um those are my songs that are my favorites right but I listen to a lot of gospel music and all Mercy Chin will hit, hits me every time yeah so yeah that those are my the songs that come to mind right now when I mean, somebody asks like somebody should ask me that's what i'm going to say maverick 16 and easy um, um my favorite christian book there's a lot of there's, there's actually a lot of them like a lot of like um authors um i love francine rivers um melissa jaggers my favorite yeah. thing about church um personally my favorite part about church is praise and worship like if i miss praise and worship it very like not just praise and worship like any church like there's some ch i don't want to yeah but like there's some yeah <laughs> there's a praise and worship sessions and you're like you all didn't even let me get into this period and you're already moving on to like the you know the praise and worship uh before we obviously all thought worship is like the slow songs where you're like worshiping and you're crying and then praise is like the dancing but apparently it's not all of them are praise and worship and then it just depends on the beat but yeah um just taking up up to like the format like this thing like you guys don't even let me worship before you're already jumping into praise and then when i'm all like okay let's just do the praise and then you guys are done like i love a good worship and praise and worship session like um, I like I would legit not go to church, but if you tell me that there's like a praise and worship concert, I would literally jump up and run. Cause I, that's just my thing. Like I feel like praise and worship is like if you listen to um that um Don't See No Acorn song, that fragrance of fire, my worship is my weapon. I like literally like I could literally go without hearing the word like just praise and worship and i feel good i feel like because I'm, I'm in the presence of god and my like praise and worship is like me speaking to god through my songs you understand and he's going to minister back to me so i really yo the next question is if you could see jesus at this moment or at this moment like right now jesus would appear to me like i'm filming this video right now what would be your question or action i would ask him when it would stop hurting and I would cry. I would literally hug him and just cry at his feet. And then ask him, like, when does it, when does it stop hurting? Like, when does the pain go away? Or I'll just be like, yo, I give up. Let me just go with you. Like, my, like everybody's going to be sad, like, I'm going with Jesus. Like, that, that's the ultimate goal, right? You, should, you guys shouldn't be really pained because I went with Jesus. Because it's like... That's all I have to say. Like, there's a lot. I'm not about to make my YouTube channel my therapy session. Like, I think the oddest place you've prayed. I feel like I pray everywhere. I prayed before I started this video. I pray in the bathroom. I I pray on the streets. Like, I don't think prayer is kneeling down and like in Jesus' name. I feel like walking on the street and be like God, please take me to my destination safely is a prayer. So I pray everywhere. Like, I might be sweeping the floor and I'm praying. I'm playing with my dogs, I'm praying, I'm working, I'm praying, I'm cooking, I'm praying. Like it's just like things like God is in those days for no bone. It's a prayer. In my opinion, though, I don't feel like you have to do the whole Father in Jesus' name. I thank you. Like, yeah. Every single thing you say, so prayer is talking to God. And so if I'm like, God, please, I need you to like help me because I feel like I'm I'm like slowly losing myself. That is a prayer. You know? Prayer. So yeah, are you ready if Jesus were to come tomorrow? No. Hundred percent. Um, I want to have <laughs> like since I've been a child, like okay, okay, let's be serious. But like, let me just say this thing like, since I've been a child, I'm like, good, I don't know how you want to do it, but I want to have kids. Like, even if I don't even get, I want to have, I have plans to adopt kids, I want to be able to do that before you understand. It's like, I want my own children. So you can't come before I have my children. <laughs> Obviously, you can do everything you want, but like, it's like, God, please, can I just please have my children? Like, and then I used to, at, at a point, I was like, man, the world is so evil. Can I give birth and then you come? So that I know that my children are, like, secured in your, like, we're all going to heaven. So, like, they don't have to reach the point where it's like, oh, they already know wrong and right. So 
you understand but like yeah um i'm not ready for jesus to come because like, like i am obviously still everybody is a sinner we sin every day you wake up and then your mom calls you to come to the kitchen and you're like what the fuck does this mom want now that's the sin that we all commit every single day so yeah i don't think anybody can literally say they're ready for jesus to come no so i'm not like i'm not how do you openly um, share my faith that's what i'm doing right now um it's been a struggle in my heart for it was always supposed to be part of my channel but i just didn't feel like i was the like who am i yeah that, that whole my life on my instagram <laughs> on my instagram i have um for i think a couple of months since during the lockdown I, the team like i changed you know how people do that pattern thingy so i was trying to do a pattern thingy here yeah? and i was like you know where people put a picture a picture and then in the middle is like a quote or something i use biblical quotes like things that are related to the bible to being strong to being yourself you know um motivational quotes in general but mostly about the bible so yeah i've been sharing my faith on instagram and on twitter obviously i tweet godly things everybody knows I'm doing a video on that my next video okay not my next video my next week so yeah i'll talk about all of this in another video but yeah um that's how i open share my faith um my favorite place to pray like i said i can't have a favorite place because i pray everywhere but if i had to pick it would be my bathroom in front of my mirror because it's like okay no one can walk in on me right and it's just me looking at myself me looking at jesus because we are all made in the reflection of god so it's like me and god staring at each other and i'm talking to you you know what i'm saying it sounds it sounds crazy but like yeah technically we're all made in the image of god meaning if i'm looking at myself i'm looking at god so i'm talking to myself i'm talking to god <laughs> it's awkward joe uh -uh. see, see how the, the, the things are not flowing from my brain it's too hot well yeah <laughs> My favorite um, preacher, Pastor Mike. P Pastor Mike. Pastor Mike. I'm currently re 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 like double re's. I think it's really triple re's. This dog. It's like I'm re 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 watching relationship goals. Um, and this time I'm taking notes. So I just watched them in passing the other times. But this time I'm being intentional about it because I'm being beautiful, my singleness. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Try to make the most of my singleness as possible. Glory closer to God is a goal for 2020. It was a goal for last year, but COVID, everything just messed up my whole stuff. So this year we're making it a reality, okay? So if what church do I attend? I'm a Baptist. I do not well, I attend Faith Baptist Church for Tacos at OGRE. If you want to come for a worship service, just let me know. And we can link up, you know. How would you describe your relationship with God? Um it's shaky it's in the works like i said it's in the works it's it's a progressive relationship we're moving forward it, it was stagnant before it was non-existent at some point but now i yeah and but now it's, it's, it's getting better we're getting somewhere so i hope you guys were able to learn a little bit more about me um as related to my religion and my faith thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys liked it don't forget to like comment subscribe turn your post notifications and share it with your friends i'm going to be making a playlist and i'm going to put in all my christian related videos in there so if you guys want to see a particular video you can just go to that playlist and watch it you know thank you guys so for watching once again i'll see you guys in my next one bye thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys were able to get to know more about me and my religion and my faith i would love for you guys to so yeah, that's brought us to the end of this particular video. I hope you guys were able to get to know more about me and my faith. Um, so yeah, why do I not know how to end the video? So, <laughs> what the fuck? So yeah, I hope you guys were able to get to know a little bit more about me and my faith, and you know the things that I don't know how to end the video. Stop moving!